Hi, this is Debbie with Cakes to Celebrate. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a Pikachu cupcake in honor of Pokemon's 25th anniversary. I thought it'd be an awesome time to show you how to make this adorable little cupcake. So if you find this video useful, make sure you like it, ring the bell, subscribe, and comment below. The ingredients we're going to be using to make this adorable cupcake are some satin ice yellow fondant, some red fondant, white, black, white buttercream to pipe our adorable cupcake on top, and a blank cupcake, a rolling pin, some various size cutters in round, our dusting pouch, water with a paintbrush, and then a number 12 piping tip. So the first thing I thought we would do is go ahead and form the little ears because they do need a little bit of time to dry so that they are uh, hardened as they are sitting on the cupcake. So we'll start with a little bit of yellow. And I keep my fondant in Ziploc bags so that it doesn't dry out. Um, it is satin ice fondant, like I mentioned, and it's all pre-mixed, so you don't have to try to worry about getting these colors uh, and mixing them on your own. They come this way, so it's really awesome. Makes it really super easy to work with. So what I'm going to do is um, take my fondant, kind of roll it in a ball and heat it up. It's called conditioning. And I am going to break off some little pieces. Try to get them the same size. And the way I do that is I roll them in balls first before I do anything and I just kind of take a look at them and go, okay, are they the same size or not? And obviously this little guy is a little bit bigger. So let's kind of pinch off a little bit. We don't want one ear bigger than the other. That would look kind of funky. So uh, here we go. Uh, they look pretty close. Uh, in size there. So I have the uh, little yellow balls for his ears the same size, and now I'm gonna go ahead and roll them. So the way you do it is just kind of with your finger uh, on one side to, to get that angle, just kind of roll, roll the fondant on one side and let let it kind of become a, an elongated teardrop in a way. So then I kind of push it down on my surface to flatten it a little bit. And I think those are pretty good. Okay, and then I noticed that Pikachu has little black tips on the ed ends of his ears. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, add those. And uh, you know, with just a very, very small amount of fondant, uh, I'm probably going to get my dusting pouch and roll just a flat little piece real quick and see if I can get two little discs to kind of wrap around the ends of his ears. Might need to reshape them a little bit. And then you can always go in and make corrections. So like if for some reason, you know, you feel like the ear is not the right shape or it's too long or too wide, you can go back and, you know, either cut it or reshape it uh, when it comes time to actually adhere it onto the cupcake. It's, until we actually see it completed, uh, it might be a little difficult to actually know exactly the proportion. So I always go back, never be afraid to go back and maybe cut off a little bit or you know, lightly reshape it. You always can go back and redo it. And if for some reason you just were not happy, I'm gonna add a little water this time because 
feel like the first one was a little bit uh, hard to stick. But you can always go back and start all over. And then, you know, you would have, um, maybe just have to wait a little while for it to uh, dry again. But, you know, if you're doing multiple cupcakes, you know, you're probably going to have quite a few of these little ears to make ahead of time. So again, just kind of forming the ear. I'm gonna go back and make sure this little guy's on there. I, Kind of think he is just with a little more touch of water just in case we don't want him um, we don't want the little uh black piece to fall off now i can i can reshape these once once i look at where i'm going with this uh, little critter okay so i'm going to set these to the side just so they have a little time to dry now we're going to be making Pikachu's face out of the yellow fondant. And the way we're gonna do that is by rolling our yellow fondant out into a disc. make two cuts of our three and a half inch fondant uh, cookie cutter. So there's one and two. And now we're going to be piping some buttercream right in the center, kind of a mound in the middle. About that much. Laying our second piece over the top, kind of giving it just a little bit of a push to get the fondant out to the edges. And then coming in with our two inch cookie cutter. And making a nice little disc of fondant filled with buttercream. This is gonna give us those perfect edges and it'll fit just beautifully right over the cupcake. And now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator so that when I'm working on it, it doesn't indent and uh, leave little marks. And that way it'll stay very uh, clean looking. So now that our fondant disc is out of the refrigerator, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to put it on top of our cupcake. Little bit of buttercream to fasten it. Little offset spatula here to get our disc ready and then we can just simply place it on top. Okay, now it's looking awesome and ready to decorate. So the first thing we'll work on are the eyes. So we'll start with a little bit of black fondant. Roll it up. A Little bit of cornstarch. And the nice thing is I'm going to be using the uh, tip cutter, the number 12 tip. I'm gonna be using the actual tip part to cut out my eyes. So they're perfect circles and the same size. So this is really kind of a handy little way to go. And uh, sometimes they need a little coaxing to come out of the tip. So your paintbrush will come in handy there. And What's nice about this is if you need to make different shapes out of the eyes, uh, some characters' eyes are more oval rather than perfectly round, you still have the an even amount of fondant, so they're both always going to look the same, which is kind of a handy thing. If you were just to roll two little beads of fondant, you could get one uh, larger than the other if, if you have different amounts on there. So now I'm going to work with the eyes a little bit. 
just kind of get an idea of the placement. They're kind of tricky little guys. They want to fall all over the place here, but they are pretty much, I noticed, in the middle of the face. And what I'm going to do is just pretty much place everything before I, oops, here's the nose, before I go ahead and actually fasten it. That way I can make adjustments along the way if things don't look right. So now I'm going to be making the mouth kind of, you know, just kind of, it, it's pretty much freehand. I've taken a little, another little piece of fondant and rolled it quite thin. And then I'm just gonna kind of shape it into a cute little mouth. If it's too long, I can cut it. But it's better to do this off the fondant rather than on it. Then that way, you know, you can kind of make adjustments if you make a mistake. And I noticed he doesn't have quite Just kind of play with it till you get it to where you are happy with it. Just giving him a nice, cute little smile. Maybe use a round tip to also shape it. Always helps to get that form back. Sometimes if you're working with it quite a bit, it can lose its shape and this will get it right back. So now we're gonna work on the little red cheeks. And I'm going to roll this just a little bit thicker than I normally would because this isn't the perfect size, this cutter, I've noticed. It's a little small compared to the size that I need, but I want to be able to uh, shape them and make them a little bit bigger because they should be larger than the eyes. So I can take with a little bit of cornstarch and just kind of roll them out and work with them on the, sh on the size. Just kind of keeping in mind that I want them relatively the same in size. You can kind of shape it a little bit with the uh, spatula. Just getting it the right size. Putting them close to each other and then kind of comparing them side by side. And then when you put them on your um, cupcake, they'll already be the right size. You can, this one's ready to go. And I think they look pretty good. They're, they're fairly close. And now just to double check that they are the right size. And they're a little bit bigger than the eyes, which is really kind of the look I'm going for. All right. So now we're ready to fasten the different uh, little features onto our cupcake. And we're going to take a little bit of water on our paintbrush, kind of remove these little guys, just a very small amount of water. And black is a little tricky because it will leave a mark where you put it. So you do want to be pretty sure where you're going to be putting it. You can move it slightly, but if you were to move it a fair distance, you are going to have a mark left. So you do want to be kind of, oops, careful. They're kind of persnickety little guys. Okay, so now our tiny little nose is also going to get placed. And now the fun part is getting the mouth on there. 
I'm going to just set it here just to kind of make sure that I've got the right look. And I want to say I it's a little they're a little too long the the uh, shape of the mouth. So I want to go ahead and uh, shorten them just a tad. And then what I usually do um, if I've taking a little bit off one side, just to be sure that I've taken the same amount, I go ahead and put that excess piece over to be, just kind of gives me a guide to where I'm cutting the next uh, little piece, just so I'm not going back and forth and cutting it shorter and shorter. Then I'm going to kind of clean it up a little bit and I think we're probably pretty good. Give it another little shape. And I think for the most part, we are good to go. Whoops. So I'm going to take this little guy very carefully. It's very thin and it's starting to get a little brittle. So you do have to work somewhat close, uh, quickly. Hmm. Just going to give it a really, really small amount of water on there and get ready to put this little guy on. Keeping in mind, I don't have a lot of forgiveness here with, with the mouth. If you accidentally do make a mark on your cupcake, which I did make a, just a teeny tiny one, you can always go back with a little bit of lemon extract or vodka and just dab it, you will get the color off. Sometimes it will leave just a little bit of a, a shiny mark. So, but it's better than having, um, you know, a fair amount of black on the cupcake. And these little guys are kind of tricky to work with. Again, we're gonna get ready to Attach them with a little bit of water. Just I just put a little dot in the middle in case I do want to move it around. And red is actually a, almost as bad as black, but not quite as bad to work with. I'm just kind of making sure that I'm following the design of Pikachu as much as possible. So people, if they look at it, go, they recognize it. So we're gonna put this little piece right here. All right, now, uh, let's see, we're ready to add a little bit of eye light with the white, and it's a really, really small amount. Just an absolute dot, and it they're kind of up in the corners of his, or of the eye. And what I would do with this one is probably make my dot of water first. Go ahead, just very gently Whoops, place those pieces of white. And you can always kind of flatten them just a tad once they get on. Okay, now the tricky part, the ears. Hopefully they're not too heavy. I do notice they are a little bit large, so I'm able now to go ahead and size them a little bit by cutting them. You always want to err on the side of caution because you can always cut more, but you can't put it back on. So if you go conservative to conservatively, you can always go back and fix it. Okay, and now the final part is to put the ears on. And what I'm going to do is just kind of round out the ends because of course we are putting them on 
a rounded surface and this will help them just kind of see just a little bit better. So here we go. Small amount of water. We want this rather sticky. So a lot of times when I'm working on uh, other cakes that are requiring uh, pieces to be adhered, what I'll do is I will put a little bit of water and let it get sticky. So kind of leave them alone. Let, let that water kind of sink into the fondant a little bit. So when I go to put it on the cake, it um, has a little bit more tackiness to it. So let's see here. Oh yeah, that's kind of sticky. Kind of nice little amount. We don't want a lot because we don't want these ears to slide off and they are just a tad heavy. So we gotta be really careful. So I'm gonna put them on at the same time because I want them, I wanna be able to kind of eyeball and position them as I'm putting them on. So I'm going to try getting these little guys on kind of hold them in place and it looks like they're on pretty good now that our little pikachu is finished he's ready to go and he's just adorable so if you found this video useful make sure you like it subscribe and ring the bell and you're always welcome to leave comments below thanks for watching